We know that Quran version of Hafiz is 96% worldwide follower and we have another version but not another Quran called the version of Warri. The only one he trusts is Hus. He died in 796. He was never there with Muhammad. The Quran message, even if it's false, at least He's already admitting. It's false! He's already admitting it's false! The thing is, it'll spill in my hands. That's the problem. Yeah, I'll just ask you when I need it. Thanks a lot, sir. All right. 22. 22. 28. Can you hold this for me? I'll just grab her when I need it. Thanks. What's that? You got the holy one. Number one, Number one, Number one, Great, thanks. Only one God, which is immortal, and Jesus. Jesus! The more you talk about Jesus, the sweeter it is to my ears. Remember that name. Don't ever give up on that name. Come back to that name. Always come back to Jesus. Okay, now we're going to change gears. He addressed that the Father here is the only true God. And who sent him? They're so scared they have the max and They are the sons of They have no idea. Do we hide our faces? No. Why do we not hide our faces? We have nothing to hide. He will not. God, he will not grow tired of Mary. Jesus. What's he happened? was a child. He was a young man. About he grew. What, 10 minutes, 15 minutes? From a baby. An hour? An hour? An hour? One hour. Isaiah 46, verse number 9. I am God. Okay, folks. We're going to change gears now. And now we're going to talk about the Quran. I can dance to that. I am amazed that speakers corner, people call you liar. They think that you are Allah, Jay. You don't look like Allah. Do I look like a liar? Do I talk like a liar? You do. Do I act like a liar? You do. That's what it comes to. Do I have a mask to hide my face? No, no, you do. Remember Allah speaks behind the wheels? Allah speaks behind the wheels. Therefore, they are speaking behind the masks. Yeah. Isaiah Okay, go ahead. Verse number six. Isaiah 44. Verse number six. Do you believe this book? Do you believe this book is the first and the crucial? Do you believe this book is perfect and crucial? No need to get upset. I am asking. Do you believe? Do they believe that this is perfectly preserved? Whatever you call me, I am a child of God. Therefore, ask for the question. Do you believe this book is being perfectly preserved? Come on, most let's answer the question. Is this perfectly preserved? Yes or no? They're not sure, are they? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this perfectly preserved? Let's talk about. Is the Quran? Is the Quran perfectly preserved? You can't read it. It's your holy book, and he can't read it. Go ahead. What's your answer? Is the is this book perfectly preserved? Can I answer? We're asking. We're waiting. My Quran. Quickly, give us an answer. Yes or no? It's not about yes or no. It is about yes or no. Is it perfectly preserved or not? Do you want to hear my? I want a yes or no. No. I don't want you to waffle on about Psalm 42 or Isaiah 42. Half to the end. Half to Wait, wait, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Guys, wait, wait. Say again. Wait. We know that Quran version of Hafiz is 96% worldwide follower. And we have another version, but not another Quran, called the version of Warsh. So, and there is a few words. How many else? How many more do you have besides Huffs and Warsh? Because of dialect. So he's already been admitted. There are two Qurans. Did you hear him? Yeah. The Huffs and the Warsh. I said. Already I two Qurans. Another one here, So you admitted that there are two Qurans now, the Hafs and the Warsh. I thought there was one Quran. Isn't this what all Muslims say? Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Guys, 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 I know you're enjoying me. You're having a hard time controlling your men, aren't you? Control your Muslims. We control the Christians, you control the Muslims. Guys, Jesus! Jesus! What a name! Jesus! Go ahead, Hatsi. Wait, wait, wait. Allah is so Akbar, his people need to be behind the rails. So, Allah is so Akbar, he couldn't even protect his book from a He couldn't protect the Quran. Already here, we have said that there are two Qurans, the Wars and the Hafs. Already he has said two Qurans. How many more? They're calling you a liar. Hear that? They're calling you a liar. Two Qurans. Look, 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 look. Guys, 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 guys. Let's say that we have two Qurans. Okay? Oh, there you go. Let's say we have two Qurans. Is the Quran perfect? Yes. Is it eternal? Yes. Is it the word of God? No. Can you have two Qurans? Wait. No, notice. He's already admitted there are two. Are there more than two? Guys, guys. Let's say that we have two Qurans. Still, it doesn't approve your eternity. It doesn't approve. What's that got to do with the Quran? Are we talking about the Quran today? Yes, we are. Let's continue. The one who holds the universe by the power of his word doesn't need Quran at all. No. This is called deflection. He don't want to talk. He made he made a boo boo there. He shouldn't have said two. Now let's talk about the Trinity. He wants to move away from this says, subject. Says I have more than many different Arabic words in my head. He wants to go back and then ask very basic questions. Which Quran might be revealed to men called Muhammad and the Quran which revealed to him are we able to are we able to have that Quran today in the version? So which of the Quran that is in heaven? is what you're asking. Which is the Quran that was revealed to Muhammad? This one is eternal tablets as surround before God to speak. And this Quran has been perfectly preserved by Allah as surround within What are these three? What, are you, what am I pointing to here? Hatun, what am I pointing to here? I'll give you a better list. So we have a list here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Do you see these seven days? 
Do you know these seven names here? These are the seven names, the seven readers, right? These are the ones that you say are all Qurans, right? There are seven readings of the Quran, right? Seven. Look here, look here. Look here at the green names. Yeah, yeah. I'm asking a question. Are these the seven names? Yes or no? Yes or no? You know you're not going to make a mistake yeah, yeah, again. You want to use me, yeah? It's obvious he's scared now, yeah. isn't he? I'm not scared. You're scared I'm now. Scared. Yeah, yeah. Then he, are these the seven I'm names? Going. Are these the seven I'm names? Going. The seven readers. Yes or no? Which was based on Iraq and everywhere. Yeah, I know. I didn't say that. What is the Quran message, even if it's false, at least. He's false. already admitting it's false! He's already admitting it's false! Did you hear him? Even if it's false, he says. That is the blindness of Muslims. Even if it's false, he knows he's in hot water now. Yeah, yeah, you admitted two different Qurans. Yeah. You now admit it that it is false. What's the next admission? I love this. It gets easier and easier every time he opens his mouth. Thank you. We know who he is. There are false. How many? Why you have out of 37 Qurans? But we want to ask the question. Guys, you Muslims calm down. Muslims calm down. You don't need to get angry. We're talking about your holy word. This is so typical of Muslims. They don't have an answer, so they try to disrupt us, try to blind us, put their things in our face, and hide their faces so no one can see who they are. Typical Muslim today. Okay, let's continue on. Let's continue on. Let me see the camera, please. Okay, can you see why this is important? Thank you, sir. Can you see why this is important? Hatun, it's obvious they don't want us to talk about this. It's obvious at Speaker's Corner, but we're going to do it, are we not? We're going to continue on. Why don't you do it in her home? Easy. You know, instead of coming here and provoking people. Who's provoking anybody? Are we permitted to talk about this today? Is this Speaker's Corner? Yes, Do we have the freedom to do so? Yes, But he's saying we're provoking. You oh are provoking. If all what you do is the big game, the vision and hate the free people. This is what you do. This is what you do. This is the only place we can do this. This is the only place that's left us. And still, they want to shut this down. Muslims want to shut every place that criticizes their book or their place or their man. Now they're trying to shut down Speaker's Corner. Continue on. Go ahead, Hatuk. So, Men called in the 
Look at the date, 936. That's 300 years after Muhammad. He chose these seven, right? He chose these seven. The names are very clear. Nafi from Medina. Ibn Kathir from Mecca. Abu Amr from Basra. Ibn Amir from Damascus. Asim from Kufa in Iraq. Hamza from Kufa in Iraq. Al Qasai from Kufa in Iraq. You notice Iraq, 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 Syria in Iraq. Is that a problem if there's only one Quran? How could there be seven Qurans if there's supposed to be only one Quran? So seven out of fifty Qurans. So these are the seven. Do they, are they all the same Quran? The Hatim. What name is missing there? What's the name he's talked about? Is Hafs in this list? Is Wash in this list? You notice neither Hafs or Wash are in this list, right? He has a very bad memory. They didn't want to use him. Yeah, and Hafs was a liar. He was a liar. Even Al Buhari says, I will not use him because he cannot be trusted. But when, when did Hafs die? 796. 796. And how many years after Muhammad is that? So 144 years. Lots of, lots of, lots. 144 years later, finally Huffs writes his Quran. Did you notice? He says the only one he trusts is Huffs. Did you notice he said that at the very beginning? The only one he trusts is Huffs. He died in 796. He was never there with Muhammad. He lived 144 years after Muhammad. He lived in Kufa. He never was in Mecca and Medina. So how can you trust Hafs? Are you trying to tell me that who this is Muhammad? Never knew Muhammad. He never knew Muhammad. He never lived in the same century as Muhammad. He never lived in Mecca and Medina. He never came from Arabia. He came from Iraq. The place that Uthman had everything burned. It was the Iraqi Qurans that Uthman had burned, did he not? And yet the one that he claims is the final revelation, the canonical text that they use today is from Iraq, the very place that Uthman burned all the Qurans. What does that say to you, Hatun? What does that tell you? It tells me they've got the wrong Quran! Again? When, when was Hus chosen? It was it chosen in 796? Was it chosen in 936? 1194. 1194. 1194. By Al Shatabi. Al Shatabi chose the Hus in 1194. That's the 12th century, right? Yes. That's the 12th century. century. So, let, let me just put something in the tell me, do you wash your feet in your kudu? All done, thank you. Do you wash your feet or not? Muslims, when they do their ablutions, when they do their ablutions, do they wash their feet? Do they wash their feet or not? That's important because every Muslim has to do that, right? That's what you do if you follow the Hafs Quran.
Did Allah say, wash your feet? Or did Allah say, wipe your feet? And where does it say, wipe your feet? Now you're listening to this. So there is a contradiction, is there not? A huge contradiction. But I thought there's only one word of God. Jesus! Who is the King of Kings? Who is the Lord of Lords? Who is God in heaven? Who is God on earth? Who died on the cross? Who then rose again? Who now is in heaven? Who is for you and me? to bring you home. Jesus. What is the name? Jesus. What is the name? Jesus. Can you hear you? Jesus. Jesus. What a name. I love that name. Yes, love Go ahead, back to you, Hati. I can dance to that. It's got a rhythm to it. We can dance to it, Hatun. But that's all we can do. Because they've got the wrong God, don't they? They've got a pagan God, don't they? they got a polyethistic God. They've got a God who has a wife. How can that be God? Because God, God does not have a wife. So let's continue. Well, back to the Quran again. Sorry, Jay, I'm getting stressed because, because they are violencing on people. They are practicing violence. See the face of Islam. This is what Islam does. They always revert to violence. And all of a they haven't changed in five years. God bless you. God bless you. They won't change. Only our glorious gospel can change them. Jesus! 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 Back to the Quran. Back to the Quran. Which one of those to the Quran is the eternal contents of Allah? That's what I'm asking. Very simple question. You should be able to ask me that very simple question. Yeah. So, Hatun, there's a real problem here. Explain it to them one more time. Quran. Allah claims that Allah is going to preserve the Quran. That's in chapter 15, verse 9 of the Quran. That Allah will protect your Quran. Why is it that he's giving you 30 different Qurans then? He didn't protect it very well, did he, Khatun? No, he's not very good protecting And there were 700 Qurans where those 30 were chosen from. 30 different Qurans. Here they all are, folks. These are 30 different Qurans. I didn't make up this list. This cut from Wikipedia. <laughs> That's all they can do. Continue on, Hatu. We're going to lose light here pretty soon. Allah states that Quran is eternal tablets, Surah 85, verse 22. Yet, today, we are having many different Qurans while Quran affects your eternity. It is serious in a manner that on the day of judgment, Quran is going to become a pagan man and intercept for you. On the day of judgment, Quran is going to intercept for you. Is it this Quran who is going to intercept for you? Is it this Quran who, which is going to intercept for you? Or this one? Not any of them. None of these Qurans will help you because they don't agree with each other. They don't even know God's name. Where is God's name in that book? I don't think it doesn't have it. Is Yahweh's name there? No. 
Is Jehovah's name there? Is Jesus' name there? Yes, sir. In Arabic? It's got a pagan God, a polytheistic God, a God who has a wife. That is not your God, is it, Hatim? Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. <laughs> They're just Cut like children, aren't they? They act just like children. No, Jess. Jess. Spoiled children. Jess. Children are disciplined. Those ones are out of control. Tons of the spirits come out to practice violence. Okay, let's continue on. So, Hatun, if the Quran it cannot be preserved by Allah, it says in chapter 10, verse 15, it says in chapter 18, verse 27 of the Quran, that not one word, not one letter will be changed. That the Quran cannot be changed. So we have found, you have found 37, right? How many have you found? 37. So if, if nothing is going to change, why we are holding different Qurans? You're holding three different Qurans. Three different Qurans. No two, no three are alike, right? They are not alike, right, Hatim? No, they are different from one another. And as you look at the many are different Arabic Qurans, you get the same. Watch them. This is typical. Typical of Islam, they do not like criticism. They do not like criticism. She's protecting her men. It's a woman protecting her men. God bless her too. Hey Jay, you didn't get jabbed, did you? You didn't get jabbed. I, I got hit. I got hit on the glasses, that's all right. No, I mean, I mean, you're not getting the vaccine, right? Don't I did, yes, yeah. This is exactly how Islam behaves. This is how Islam behaves. So you not to take any more vaccine, right? Okay, thank you. Hey, Elson, how are you? God bless you. We're having a great day, aren't we? Thank you. It's good to be back again. It's good to see you. Hey, we serve the same God. God bless you. Yahweh! I know you can't lay it, but let me say it for you, okay? God bless you. Hang in there. Who do you think won that one? David won it? No one agrees with you. You weren't here, it should have been here half an hour ago. We destroyed David on that. They are dimmies of Ali They are dimmies. Okay, is our, is our camera here? Okay, back here, Alistair. All right. Is she okay? No, no, she's not okay. Look, he's getting into fudging. She tried to be a That's one of our team, your teammates, right? Every week, every week. Okay, let's just say, for those of you who want to know what just happened, this is typical of the Muslims. She was standing here to guard against them coming and getting us. Can you, and you all saw the fracas. The police are now taking care of it. No, but this happens. Not, police is not taking care of it, Jay. You can see it. Police is afraid. But do you notice? It's only the Muslims who do the punching here. It's only the Muslims that cause violence here. And this happens week after week after week. And yet this is Speaker's Corner, folks. This is the last bastion of freedom of speech. If this goes down, if the Muslims win by using violence, there will be no more freedom of speech. There will be no more Speaker's Corner. Can you see why Hatun is here every week, coming with her team, so that this is preserved? Because this is the only place that we can say this. This is the last place where we can criticize Islam. This is the only place where we have the freedom to do so. This has been an institution for 160 years. And we do not want to see it lost because of the Muslims. We do not want to see it shut down because of the Muslims. But you need to be careful, folks. Every one of you that are watching this online, you saw the fracas. You saw how they hit the girl. 
You saw how they, they, they dragged her over. That happens on a weekly basis here. We, Hatun's team, I'm not here anymore, but Hatun and her team have to be here every Sunday to deal with this kind of violence. You need to support her team. You need to support what she does Here's and also this support what she's saying. Here's the point. Sadly, 21st century, while there is internet, while Bible is accessible to people, there are people still don't know our Lord Jesus Christ. There are people still do not worship Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, therefore, we get to see, therefore, we get to see violence is practiced by the encouragement of Jews and speakers coming from Muslims. Yeah. Should be your You haven't learned from your history. He supports the Muslims? Yes, he supports the Muslims. Are you serious? He supports the Muslims. Jay. How can a Jew support the Muslims? What has happened but, to the but, world? But, but, Everything's but, gone upside down. It is all about Lord Jesus Christ. Comes back to Jesus. King of kings, the creator of the universe, the one who holds the universe by the power of his word, steps in into this broken world and wants to have relationship with his people. Eternal word of God, Lord Jesus Christ, the one who is perfect with his death and his resurrection. He declares us righteous so that we can spend eternity with him. Eternity with him. Not and Hatun, is that not why you come here week after week? Jesus is worthy and Muslims is to know that. Muslims is to know it is serious when they run, run off Jesus. It is serious when they reject Jesus. <laughs> Muslim people, Sister, you have... need to turn to Lord Jesus Christ. Jewish people, you need to turn to Lord Jesus Christ. Scripture is not making jokes about it when it says one day every knee will bow down to him. One day every tongue will confess Christ is the Lord. Scripture is not making any joke. It is serious. Yeah. It is going to happen willingly or unwillingly it is going to happen. It's going to happen, folks. And yeah. every one of you needs to ask that question. Do you know who Jesus is? Hatun has been here week after week praising his name, bringing his name down to Speaker's Corner. We've got to make sure that his name is pronounced here. We've got to make sure that we have the freedom to critique but what Islam has done, because Islam with its scripture, with its prophet, and also with its God, has not only defamed Jesus, has perverted the name of Jesus, but has taken the name, that which was beautiful, that which is righteous, and has turned it upside down, and made him nothing more than a man. And the Jesus that I see in the Quran is not the Jesus I know. Jesus of the Quran didn't do anything to, for yourself. He couldn't even do anything for himself. It is only real Jesus, the eternal word of God, yes. can save you. Jesus! There is no any other. There and Jesus no in the Quran. Mr. Policeman is not going to save you. Mr. Muslims are not going to save you. Prophets are not going to save you. It is only Lord Jesus Christ who will save you. Now, folks, the police are taking the girl away who has been hit. And we're going to finish this up and come down because we, we need to finish it up with Jesus. One of the things I love is that when you loaded Jesus, what did Jesus say about violence? What did Jesus say about the sword? He said for Peter, who took out a sword to defend him. What did he say to Peter? Revenge is belong to God. Revenge is belong to God. We are not coming. We are not told to take the life of anyone else. It is on the day of judgment. Lord Jesus Christ will deal with his people. When he returns, he will return to deal with people. But today, all we were told, put your sword back. Peter, put your sword away. Jesus did not need to be defended by the sword. Jesus came willingly to die on the cross. Jesus is the only one who is able to enter time and space. No other God can do that. Hatun, don't worry about them right now. No other God can do what Jesus did. No other God can enter time and space. No other God can walk and talk with you and me. And no other God can die and rise again. And yet Jesus did all that, did he not? He did. Why? 
because he loved you enough, he loved you enough to for asking for you to spend eternity in the bosom of his father. He loved you enough to do something for you. He loved you enough to give himself for your son. Lord Jesus Christ, give himself for you. Please turn to him. Please do turn to him. <laughs> Here they are coming again. They just can't give up. They do not like what we're saying. And I can understand in a way, because if I were in their shoes, I don't, you know, they have not given one defense today. Yahya tried his best. He finally had to get off the ladder, did he not? Because he just waffled on and waffled on about Kedot, which he didn't even know what was. So can you see then why, Hatun? This is the one place that we can easily say this. This is the one place that we can at least talk about Jesus freely. And that's why we're going to continue doing so week after week. You're going to continue doing so. I'm too old for this. I've got gray hair. I'm afraid for them like you just you touch them and they are not Lord Jesus Christ is worthy. Turn to him to have eternal life forever. Turn to him to have him. So come to Lord Jesus Christ. We can end this up really quickly. Notice. We don't have 30 different Bibles. We only have one Bible. The Muslims now have admitted that they have 30 Qurans. Even Yahya even said, even if they prove that the Quran is false. Did you hear him say that? It's, on, it's now on film. Even if they prove the Quran is false. We didn't even let him finish that sentence. Because that's all he needed to say. They are already giving up on one Quran. They're already giving up on the preservation of the Quran. They're already giving up on the idea that they can now defend the Quran. If you admit that the Quran is false, there is no Islam left. If they cannot defend Mecca, the Islam is now false. If they cannot defend Muhammad in history, there is no Islam. The book, the man in the place. The book is the Quran, the man is Muhammad, the place is Mecca. We are disproving that every week. But you now need to know that. Go up onto DCCI, go up on Defender Films on YouTube and see what happened today, but see what's gonna happen tomorrow and the next day, because we're gonna put up evidence after evidence after evidence that's gonna take down the book, the man, the place, the book is the Quran, the man is Muhammad, the place is Mecca, and we're gonna replace it with Jesus. We're gonna replace it with the gospel of Jesus. And we're gonna replace it with Jerusalem. Wait till you find out what we now know about Jerusalem. That's for the next time. But over to you, Mech. Go over to you, Hatu. Lord Jesus Christ is sufficient enough for all. Lord Jesus Christ is sufficient Savior for us all. Turn to him and he will give you all he has. He wanted to give his life for you. He wants you and he wants you to be his. God bless you all. God bless you. Who is the King of Kings? Who is the Lord of Lords? for you and me? Jesus. Who wants to bring you home? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Can't hear you. Jesus. Jesus. Go with Jesus, folks. God bless you. We'll see you next week.